right, Mr. Aurora is back. Secured entrepreneurs, seeing as we're on a roll, allow Ms. Aurora to get into just how it is sole proprietorship is making you both sick and broke. Yes, for the entrepreneurs who are still playing around in the sole proprietorship sandbox, this video is for you. All of the secured entrepreneurs here know that Miss Aurora tries to make as many videos as she can to share a lot of very vital information with the community during communicating with all of you. Okay. So as I'm having conversations with the secured entrepreneurs, and I want to thank all of the new secured entrepreneurs who have come on board in the month of July. I want to thank all of you who email, please continue to do so at info at auroradayconsulting.com. Now I have to make this video simply because of some of the conversations that uh, I've been having this past week as well as today. So I really want to enlighten a lot of the entrepreneurs who are still fooling around in the sole proprietorship sandbox. You are a DBA. You have organized a single member LLC. See, you are a sole proprietor and you may not even know it. So you don't know how it's actually harming you. I'm talking right now and how it's going to play out as you continue to grow your business. All right. So can we do it? For those of you who do not know who I am, I am Miss Aurora Day and I've helped hundreds of entrepreneurs just like you build six and seven figure tax free businesses. It's a real thing. Stick around. And we all know that this is the secured entrepreneur movement. All right, now, secured entrepreneurs, Mr. War is going to have to ask you to like this video. Comment below because you're here for the heat. Share the video with somebody that you actually care about. Subscribe to the channel if you have not, because we are growing the secured entrepreneur movement in these last five months of this year. It is more crucial than ever that we all rise up to a standard of living mentally, emotionally, physically, and financially, as well as spiritually. Okay. Like never before. And if spiritual entrepreneurship and money magic is your thing, please visit us over on the other channel, 3 a.m. shenanigans with Miss Aurora has their very early morning discussions with the secured entrepreneurs about spirituality and your business. Okay. We talk a lot about money right now. We're into the secret language of money. We started that series. So there will be new videos up today, uh, for the second part of the secret language of money. Now for the entrepreneurs who do not know the secured entrepreneur movements philosophy, we follow the Robert Kiyosaki philosophy here. Okay. And we see that in the cash flow quadrant, Robert gets into what the life of the employee is and what the employee has to look forward to financially, as well as how much tax the employee is going to pay. He gets down into the self-employed. Now the self-employed is the sole proprietor because you really have not left your job per se. You really have not left the employed employee mindset. You have given yourself another job, so to speak. Okay. You've given yourself work to do, but because you are, if you're in the United States, I'm going to talk about the United States. Okay. Let me give the trigger warning because this, this could be triggering for a lot of people. And yes, Mr. Aurora does mean to trigger you. Okay. Because sometimes we need to be triggered uh, to move. All right. So because we are in a country that is founded off of slave labor. I'm going to put it like that because I don't really know how, you know, sensitive it is, uh, for this platform. Okay. To, to say certain things, but we're, we're in a country that is founded on slave labor, right? And so a majority of the citizens of this country have been conditioned to 
labor like a slave, meaning that we're going to pay very close attention to the types of jobs that we, we, we have or we have to get simply because the job is connected to the way we care for ourselves. Do you understand what I mean? The job is connected to your health benefits, your dental benefits, your vision benefits. Okay. And let me just say there, there are many employees that don't have the best benefit package. Okay. You're still paying a lot out of your pocket. You're still paying this copay, even though your job is taking out monies before you see your check, that money has already come out to pay towards your health care. And this is the only country primarily that does not give its citizens access to much needed health care. Have to question that, have to really wake up to the fact that there's a reason why your health care is connected to your work, your employee. Okay. And on this channel, in this movement, in this community, we talk a lot about the tax brackets, taxes, and why it is your goal should always be to severely reduce having to pay income tax simply because you're taxed on everything, everywhere you go, whether you desire to acknowledge it or not. Go ahead and register your vehicle. You will see, like I saw on my vehicle's registration, that there was there was a, a, a tax for being on the road. There was a tire tax. Like I gotta pull, I gotta whip it out because I was so tickled by the fact that everything is a tax. Go somewhere, buy a concert ticket. There, there's a tax. I mean, there's a tax on everything. So why would I not desire to move like certain people who have overcome all these things the way that they overcame them. We're talking financially here. All right. So as a sole proprietor, you still have the conditioning of an employee. So now if you don't come from a background that is financially astute. You had a lot of money, maybe your first taste at money. Oh, you're so conditioned to fill out that form. Okay. You want to say that you make the most, you want to pay yourself the most because you want to have uh, this lifestyle. Now we're all into that. We're all into making more money, keeping it safe and living a luxury lifestyle. Yes. We're, we're all into that, but not the laborious enslaved way that this country has conditioned its citizens to be. That's not what we're about, right? So you're going to be severely sick and severely broke if you carry along this path. Why? Because understand that if you are not being supplied with your health care via an employee, you might not provide it for yourself. You might not provide it for yourself because you're not in a position to provide it for yourself. Okay. And how many of us know that if you are terminated from a position and they were supplying your medical benefits, Oh, they'll give you Cobra. How much is Cobra? Okay. Whereas you go to some other countries, you sign up immediately for their health care. And if you need something specialized, you know, you've got some other health concerns and you need to buy into something, that health care plan is going to be considerably cheaper per year than you would get something here in the United States. Miss Aurora knows what she's talking about. Okay. Raise your hand if you understand what Miss Aurora is talking about. Comment below, secured entrepreneurs. All of the secured entrepreneurs here know that we work with a lot of international entrepreneurs 
And now here lately, I've been asking all of the secured entrepreneurs who are creating entities here in the United States, what their health care is costing them. And many of them say zero because they don't have any underlying health issues. They haven't had the need right now to seek out specialty, you know, what, what do we call them? Specialists, right? They, they don't have a need to have a specialist in their lives right now. So they are just going off of the health care that the hunt, the country provides for them. Okay. So they have, they are stress-free as it relates to, well, how am I going to go to the dentist? How am I going to go get a physical exam? How am I going to have my blood work? If I start feeling unwell, okay, how am I going to be doing that? All right. Because their, their, their work is not connected to their health care. Uh, but here in the United States, yes, your work is connected to your health care. And even when you try to come out and do your own thing, you still have that mentality. So you got one foot in and one foot out because you're trying to figure out how am I going to take care of myself? How am I going to take care of my children? How am I going to take care of my spouse? Okay. You know, you have to be scraping the bottom of the barrel to get medic Medicare. What is it? Medicaid. You know, you have to be scraping the bottom of the barrel to get uh, Medicaid. Whereas other people can come into this country. They don't have to do any of the things that you have to do. They don't have, they don't have to jump through the hoops that you have to jump through. They go down there and they get it right away. They get all types of assistance right away. They don't have to be scraping the bottom of the barrel. They just had to come in here. Okay. What else do we know? They don't have to have a social security number to do any of these things. They're going to be, be provided a social security card. That social security card is going to have a number on it and it's going to say for work purposes only. So they can come out here and get a job. They can come out here and get a job. Okay. They got a number to do that. Mm -hmm. Now guess what happens? They're not really in the system. So they too now have become a part of the, you know, founding enslavement and all that. So they're going to have the same deductions, but what happens to the monies that have been deducted for their social security? Well, somebody's keeping that and it's not that person, but we're not going to bother to go there in this video. <laughs> Okay, did Miss Aurora mention that you'd have to have an attention span over here? Because <laughs> Miss Aurora really likes to get into it. Okay, so let's go back. I want to get into the tax brackets, okay, because this is the other situation that is going on with sole proprietors that keeps the sole proprietor broke. The sole proprietor that is actually working their business, like I previously stated a few moments ago, you like to pay yourself as, as, as much as you desire. You, you want to feel a certain way because this is something that possibly has not happened to you before. So when the going gets good, you want it to be really good, right? So I want to get into the tax bracket so you can see exactly what Miss Aurora is talking about. Because when you live the 1040 lifestyle, you're really not paying attention to all of this. You've been conditioned from being an employee. Oh, you're going to file this 1040 and you, you're going to get a return because you really think it's a gift. You really think that somebody's really doing something for you when all it is is a return of your own funds minus the interest that has been accrued that is never going to be shared with you. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to get into the single filing uh, numbers and I'm not going to get into the, the married filing jointly and all that because th this uh, the numbers for the single filers is the same for married but filing separately. I don't know how many of you knew that, but let me, I'm, let me put it up here on the screen because Miss Aurora just knows it off the top. So if you are earning zero to 11,600 for the year, you are at the 10% tax bracket. The 12% tax bracket is 11,600 and I think it's one, yeah, I think it's $11,601 to $47,150. And then it jumps to 22%. And if you are paying yourself 47,000, I think it's between 47, thousand one hundred and fifty dollars something like that to a hundred thousand five hundred and uh twenty five dollars i believe 
that's the 22% tax bracket. And then if you're in the, if you're paying yourself a hundred thousand, I think it's a hundred thousand, five hundred and twenty six dollars to one hundred and ninety one thousand and nine hundred and fifty dollars. That's the twenty four percent tax bracket to be in the thirty two percent tax bracket, which is where I see most sole proprietors starting this thing at thirty two percent. You are paying yourself anywhere between one hundred and ninety one thousand dollars and two hundred and forty three thousand dollars. And then we've got 35%. So if you're paying yourself anywhere between $243,000 and 600 and I think $610,000 close to there, that's the 35%. And then the last would be 37% where many sole proprietors love to be in for some reason because they're going to pay themselves well over $600,000. Okay. They're going to pay themselves because they don't understand that they are a sole proprietor. So yes, they're going to be paying 37% because they have not created a true bona fide business. Okay. Now this is where the secured entrepreneurs come in. We are on the right side of the cash flow quadrant. We create the system that works for us. We understand how to utilize legal entities to defer taxation. Okay. So when you don't have your system in place, you have not created a bona fide business. You are heading towards maintaining sickness, maintaining being broke. Okay. How does this happen? How is it happening for a lot of the secured entrepreneurs who are making this type of money, keeping themselves in these tax brackets and staying in the sole proprietorship sandbox? How is this happening? Well, somewhere along the way, there's going to be a hiccup. (laughs) Okay. And this happens to the best of us somewhere along the way. There's going to be a hiccup. Now that hiccup could be you becoming ill, your spouse becoming ill, a parent becoming ill, a child becoming ill, an animal becoming ill. And, and pet lovers know they get us at the vet's office. Those vet bills, that annual what is it? the annual physical that they get is blood work. The, 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 uh, x-ray, all that is, it costs more than your blood work, your annual physical, well, it costs more. Okay. And so what's going to happen now, you've got to pay some medical bills. The, the great thing that has happened is that now the medical Uh, bills are no longer allowed to be reported on your credit report. So how much do we love that? Again, I asked a lot of our international clients about that whole system. And they're like, you know, you come here, they're not, they're not asking you about any credit. They're not asking you about any of that. Okay. Can you afford to live here? Oh, you got a job. Okay. Just pay us the money. You know what I'm saying? Like they're not asking me for any of that. What? Wow. So you don't go through the scrutiny that you go through in this country. Okay. So my residency elsewhere is looking more enticing and sweeter than ever. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Right. I want to, no wonder people want to take themselves and their businesses to other places because uh, 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 the boot in your butt, it, it, you know, it's unpleasant here. Right. So you may run into some medical bills that you'll have to pay. And even when you're the employee and you get sick, your health care benefits is only covering, but so much. And then those medical bills start coming in. Come on now. Been there, done that. You got to pay those bills. Oh, what do they do? They get collections after you. If you can't pay 
And what are you trying to do now? You're trying to get some overtime. What happens in overtime? You pay more tax. It's a joke. Okay. And this is why you got more and more people who say, I live on the street. I'll take my chances on the street. I'll live in my automobile because I am not. I can no longer live with this stress because it's the stress that's causing me to have the health problems. Okay. But that's what's happening to you as a sole proprietor. Okay. Because many, 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 many people who say that they're in entrepreneurship and all of that stuff, they never really stop working a job. They're going to do their thing on the side, but they're going to have, you know, and everybody knows I'm the queen. I'm the queen of gigs. I will, I will take a gig. I will help any attorney or any law firm do what they do. Okay. I don't have any problems with that. Okay. However, not as an employee. It's a, it's definitely a 1099 gig for Miss Aurora simply because I need to be free to work with clients. I need to feel a certain way to actually have the ability to help clients and meet them where they are because everybody is going through something. Everybody's fighting a battle that nobody knows anything about. Okay. So when it is that they're trying to plan their estate, there's some, there's a whole lot of sensitivity because it's going to bring up a whole lot of skeletons, a whole lot of family wounds. Okay. That's, that's a real thing, right? So you have to desire to leave the environment of being sick and being broke. The thought processes behind being sick and being broke. And these are the things that you brought on yourself when you were working on a job. Why? Because when you wanted a day off, you had to call in sick. So you were putting that on yourself already. Oh, I'm sick can't come in here today. Why? Because they don't want to, they don't want you to feel free. They don't want you to feel happiness. They don't want you to feel alive. Okay. They want to give you little sketchy days here and there. And if somebody else is on the calendar for a certain day, no, you can't have that day. So what do you, I just call in sick. <laughs> okay. You spoke it up on yourself. Th this is the, real things here, secured entrepreneurs, you all know, right? So if you don't come over here and build this business, create this system that works for you, you will remain sick and broke because if you are to stay in the United States, you've got to have a way to buy into the healthcare that you and your family actually need. You can't be down there thinking about Medicaid. Nothing wrong with Medicaid. This is no, 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 what, what's the word? You know, no, no, no mess on Medicaid and all that stuff because we've all been there, done that, right? It's, 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 it's there for you when you need it. All of those things, it, it, it's, it's available to you. You just got to jump through the hoops to, to be able to get it. Okay. However, when it is that you create this system, now you have the means to buy into the type of health care that you know that you need, that you want, that you feel secure about having, that you know is going to cover the things that may arise in your family unit, may arise for yourself. Okay. You know what's going on with you, right? So now within this system, I have the legal entities that's going to assure that when this money comes in, I am able to make the proper investments so that I'm just not relying on active income. I can now depend on some very solid passive income. And let me not forget one of the things that happened today. All right. We have a, we have a new security entrepreneur that came on board today. Clap your hands, MC, clap your hands. <laughs> okay. And you all know that the very first thing that this young lady said to Miss Aurora was, you know, when I was working, I really thought that, you know, I, I was, she said, unfireable. I thought I was unfireable. But they let me know that, oh, I could be replaced. And there I was working myself away made it into a primary position. Uh, she said she, she was trying to do this for two years. She finally gets it. And the next thing you know, they got her training somebody that was to be her replacement. How many of the secured entrepreneurs have experienced this? You're training your replacement. That's what they want you to do. Now you're not getting any extra pay 
to train your replacement? Why are you not creating a system that you cannot be fired from? The next sole proprietor to CEO group session is August the 1st at 4 p.m. It is a Thor's day, okay? You're going to get two anonymous LLCs, one private trust. You're going to get a full business credit program. And this is not, oh, I'm, I'm putting you on some platform and handing you over to somebody else. No, this is you're with Miss Aurora so that you get this thing done the right way. You're going to get 90 days consulting with Miss Aurora. There's much more. Go down in the description box, click the link. You'll have the opportunity to be in the community with like-minded entrepreneurs, other people who think like you, other people who want to move like you, other people who want to make more money, keep it safe, and live a luxurious lifestyle because sole proprietorship is not luxurious at all. Now you can take an inventory of the chumps, and simps that you have in your environment. You know, the people who tell you that what you're doing is not going to work. The people who tell you that they're not going to go in on anything with you. They're not going to invest in anything that you're doing because they don't believe in any of that. They want you to take your butt to a job the same way they take themselves to a job. Okay. They want to hear you say, well, you have a job. They want to hear you say, I have a job. They, they want that for you. So as long as you are a sole proprietor, you might still have some company, <laughs> okay? But when you become the true bona fide business owner who creates the system that truly rewards, that truly rewards, now yes, you're going to work because that's what you were designed to do. You were designed to work, not have a job. Two different things, okay? You all got Miss Aurora started. I'm not going to blame myself for this. <laughs> I want to see, I want to see the new entrepreneurs come on board to the sole proprietor to CEO program, the group program, August the 1st. Again, click the link below and make it happen. That's all Miss Aurora wants to share in this video. I've got to get into some trust stuff because we, we had a whole lot of things going on this past week that, see, I'm not finished. I'm, I'm going to share all of that in a moment. I'm going to get uh, these two videos up for you though. Okay. So you all know you can find me, Miss Aurora at AuroraDayConsulting.com. And until next time, ta-ta.